We painted the walls, the ceilings, the cabinets, everything. And in painting the walls, we pulled down every single curtain, and we filled every hole, and we masked and taped off every windowsill and edge, and we sanded every single surface, and we slapped on a Kills primer coat, and then two top coats after that. And I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do any of that. that Keith and I remodeled two RVs in less than a year. And no, that was not part of the original plan. See this video for an explanation as to why if you're not caught up. Almost every time we share a photo or video of our home, we receive a plethora of questions regarding paint. What's the best paint to use? Is primer necessary? What did you do about the wallpaper tape? Can paint be applied to the wallpaper without sanding? Okay, so the first time we painted an RV, we went absolutely nuts. We painted the walls, the ceilings, the cabinets, everything. And in painting the walls, we pulled down every single curtain, and we filled every hole, and we masked and taped off every windowsill and edge, and we sanded every single surface, and we slapped on a Kills primer coat, and then two top coats after that. And I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do any of that. What? Now before I go any further, you absolutely can do all of that prep work and the results will be great. But you came here for the easy way. And I'm going to say, though it should go without saying, your house moves <laughs> and most houses do not move. And if you're anything like Keith and I, and you are moving your rig constantly, hauling it down the highways, closing in slides, shifting things around and squeezing past each other in those tight hallways, you will be hard pressed not to discover marks, scuffs and blemishes on all of your surfaces. Now that that's in your mind, know that we did do some prep work in this RV. We still wiped all of the walls down with a mixture of TSP and water because you do want the surface to be clean before you paint. And while we're here, let me sprinkle in a pro tip for you. Wear a glove when wiping down with TSP unless you want to dry scaly lizard hands. And aside from wiping down all the walls, we did tape off all of the blinds and their strings, but we did not tape or mask anything else other than dropping a small sheet of plastic to catch drips from the roller. You may be wondering why we didn't just take the blinds down, and that is a valid question. In our first RV, we did remove all of the blinds and the valances. Valances, valances, valance, those really ugly things above your blind. But hear me when I tell you this, those blinds never worked correctly ever again. So this time we pulled the blinds away from the wall just enough to drop the valances, then screwed them right back into their God-given holes to ensure that the strings were tight enough for the blinds to properly open and close. And as for those few holes that were left behind, we filled them using spackling. But that's it, that's all we did for prep work this time. No masking, no sanding, and it saved us a bunch of time and mess. If you've ever sanded before, you know it's like walking outside and grabbing a handful of dirt and just throwing it inside your house. Sanding is like opening one of those Nature Valley granola bars. Sanding is like that scene in Home Alone 2 where Marv pulls the rope with the cement on the end down on his head. I'm gonna murder that kid. <laughs> it's not great. And while in our first RV we did one coat of Kills Primer and two coats of Bare Paint, this time we did three coats of a paint and primer in one from the brand Valspar. So in the end, we were still painting just as much both times, but we weren't opening as many cans. And this is how it all turned out. Honestly, no better or worse than the last time we did it so far, with, as you now know, a lot less prep work. Now I do have a few extra things that I would like to add, and I think that this knowledge will greatly improve your painting experience. Now, something I was really hashtag stressed about when painting this RV was painting around the carpet, because in all of our previous homes, all we ever had was vinyl, laminate, or tile flooring. In comes this guy. This is the only thing you need when painting. Not the only thing. 
This is one of the best things that you can buy to aid in your painting journey. It eliminates a lot of masking and headache when trying to cut in, and you can put it against the carpet and use either a paintbrush or a roller to get to the base of the wall without hitting the carpet. And this leads me into my next tip, which Joanna Gaines ain't gonna tell you. She might tell you, I don't know, I've never met her. She seems like a very nice lady. If you do get paint on a flat surface like a window frame, cabinet, or slide surround, let the paint dry enough to be hard, like 20 minutes, and scrape it off with your fingernail. It comes off so easily, and this should give you confidence if you decide not to mask. I know that this next tip can cause a bit of a heated debate, and that's whether I choose to cut or roll the walls first when I paint. And I did ask our followers on Instagram what they do, and the results were surprisingly close. I prefer to roll first, and that's because cutting takes a really long time, and if you refer to my last two tips, and you use this guy, and you know that you can scrape off any blemishes on those flat surfaces, you're gonna thank me if you roll first. You will. You're gonna send me an email that says, Rainy, you changed my painting life, and then we're gonna be best friends. My next bit of advice is don't be afraid to paint over those wallpaper taped scenes. I've seen people remove them as a personal preference, fill the crack, and then paint, but we have always just painted right over them, and that has worked fine. And don't forget, it's pointless to get too caught up in perfection because the walls are very likely going to scuff and that's okay. Just keep one of those small brushes on hand and a mini roller and know that every six months or so you may want to touch up the walls just to keep them looking fresh. But if this is your first RV and you want to take all of those extra steps and do all of that prep work just to make sure that you gave your paint the best possible chance, do it. We like to compare our RVs to children and that our first RV was our perfect little baby that we just took painstaking care of and if it fell and scraped its knee, we would pick it up and kiss it and tell it it was gonna be okay and boo boo boo. And then this RV gets the you're fine, rub some dirt in it treatment. Sorry. Let us know in the comments down below what you do to make your painting process easier because that's what we're all here for. We all want our next painting project to be easier. And I really wanna know if you have ever used this in a painting project before because if you take nothing else away from this rambling, you need to know this is, this is a game changer. How do I live without you? I want to know How do I breathe you without you? If you ever go How do I ever, ever survive? My neighbor is outside right now and I can hear her through the walls and I'm serenading a tape knife. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as that is the absolute best way to support our channel and what we do here. And we will see you on the next one. These are my painting pants. I painted in them once. How did this happen? How did we get here? Did I sit and paint? I don't know.